robotic and in in this world they they call me the stork that's been around for quite a while most of my most of my disc playing life so the stork i i was playing with various kinds of discs for a long time in my life i started i guess when i was five and through most of my like junior high and high school years my friends and i would play what we called frisbee football and so we were pretty well acquainted with the throwing and the catching of of and cutting and, and that sort of thing but i had only kind of vaguely seen mentions of New Jersey high school ultimate in Stancil Johnson's book, Frisbee. And so much of that book was tongue in cheek that you couldn't really tell if it was real or if uh, that was just uh, Stancil's uh, fertile imagination. So uh, I went through most of, of undergrad uh, unaware of ultimate. We played a lot of disc sports, uh, trick catch and and distance and accuracy and that sort of thing and more frisbee football but no ultimate then when i got to rutgers uh my my first year in grad school didn't see anything of it i was busy and the second year uh some signs popped up that said uh join rutgers ultimate frisbee and i thought hmm, that sounds like a pretty good fit so i went to the designated uh, dorm room and on the other side of the dorm room was, wall was uh, Irv Kalb. And uh, we went out and played a little bit. And uh, he told me that they were putting a team together and we're going to play Princeton in the first game. And um, it was a, a magical fit for me. I had never run into anybody else other than my father, who was really serious about throwing and catching. They had never run into anybody as tall as I was who could throw and catch. <laughs> and so it was it was love all around. And then we had the first game with uh, with with Princeton, which was a magical thing on the same piece of ground that the first uh, intercollegiate football game had been played 103 years later to the day. Uh, we beat Princeton by the same margin too. Uh, the press turned out it was it was a, an unbelievable day. Uh, the, the team had done publicity. Uh, a thousand or so people showed up. They got carried away and were screaming and yelling like it was uh, the biggest football game they had ever seen. Uh, the game was tight. Um, the press came. They did full, full newspaper page coverage of it. Every, every uh, television station in town did a big piece on it. And at the end of that game, we just thought, this thing's, this thing's blowing up. I mean, we're going to be a Monday night ultimate by the end of the month. Uh, and then we played the rest of our season, and it, it kind of fell back to the club sport uh, uh, status that, that it was, had grown into. But, but it was really exciting to be part of that. Uh, we were one of the first club teams to, to get funding, and so we were able to travel around and play a lot of the beginning teams in New England, so we played uh, Tufts and RPI and Cornell and all of those people and took the big red bus and got off and uh, we, were, we were pretty good. We went undefeated for, for a long string there and it was a great time to be a Scarlet Knight.